This body of work is about freedom, power, colour and fantasies. I was really inspired by propaganda, Japanese animation and fairy tales. It's this like mixture of emotions, of animation, of my fantasies, dreams, that all of these elements coexist. In the paintings, you can also find some symbols from Jewish iconography, where every symbol and every color means something of this kind of vicious circle emblem of a snake, kind of it's itself. So the characters, they usually, they're usually the projections of certain emotions and certain mood states that I have or something that I want to show. So they're more of a, not particular people, but more of a moods and emotions. So something that we all can relate to. I mean, the characters, they usually come last to the painting. So I usually start with the colors. This body of work, really started with my fixation to some color palette that I was really eager to use, which was the pinks, the greens, and different types of oranges, and this fantasies that's told with the colors. So talking about process, I tend to make two or three paintings at the same time. It helps me to feel the composition better, almost like a cartoon strip in real life. Working on transparent fabric makes me build up my layers very slowly. So for me it's important to keep this feeling of watercolours, which is very light and flowy. It reinforces my flowy palette and my flowy colours and the brush strokes, as well as calligraphy elements. There's always this certain fixation about colours. So I do a lot of sketching, a lot of drawing, before I approach the painting. In these paintings, I create this non-existent world it's all connected to the emblems and symbols that I put together like a salad. More like an imaginary fairy tale with symbols, with emblems, with all, all the chaos from everyday life.